Imagine your hard drive, SSD or any other storage media suddenly fails or rather disconnects in the worst possible moment. Reason for that can either be hardware based, but software bugs can be a reason as well. And such can be lurking deep within any operating system, only waiting to strike and crash your partitions in rare cases. Such an affected partition then seems hopeless. The data that's been on there is gone for now. At least we no longer have access to it. Yes, my friends, this story is actually based on a true incident. I myself have been the victim in this story, not once, but twice. And I know of more people that have gone through similar. Now, in order to take away some of your fear in such a horrible event, I'm presenting you, or rather, testing some data recovery software today. A piece of software that especially focuses on partitions of all kinds of file systems out there not just the ones associated with Windows. Today's digital tool is going by the name of Hetman Partition Recovery. But before we dive into this self-experiment of mine, I'd like to clearly point out that today's video is being sponsored, meaning I do get paid to introduce you to this recovery tool by the developer. Money that I will once again put to good use for my channel. For today's experiment, I have already prepared a victim drive and named it accordingly. This happens to be a SATA SSD connected via USB, so just like your standard external drive. Now to be clear, I always recommend making regular backups of your important data. Should you overlook a few files or if you like living your life risky in general by trying your luck, you could end up with a pretty nasty situation down the line if bad luck ever strikes you. The drive has been formatted with a common Windows NTFS file system, and in total I'll be putting 15 folders with all kinds of different file types onto this test SSD today. I've prepared a wide variety to offer a pretty good realistic spectrum. Three different archives, documents, executables, one ISO file, images, a Photoshop file, music in both MP3 and WAV format, a PDF file, text, and of course also MP4 video files. All that stuff I'll drag over to the SSD now. So today we'll be recovering a total of 15 folders with 54 files within them. The size is 6.58 gigabytes. If things go wrong on the software side of things, it's usually, but not always, simply the affected partition that gets lost or deleted, which is what I'm going to do manually now. Whoosh, the partition landed in Valhalla. So now it's the software's turn. Hetman definitely advertises heavily here and promises tons of supported file and storage media types along with file systems. So it's time to download the trial version of the tool. But let's head back to the technical aspect. The installation is pretty straightforward with different languages to choose from. It's important though, under no circumstances to write any data or install any programs onto the affected drive. One should pay very close attention to that. Otherwise, those inaccessible hidden files we want to recover may or may not be overwritten. Once that's out of the way, we are ready to start up the program. We are immediately being greeted by a help wizard guiding us through the necessary steps. We can right away select our affected drive in need of recovery, either in form of unallocated space or as a physical disk. Now we are being offered two different scanning options, a fast one and a full analysis. I always suggest going with the full scans. Everything else usually is just a waste of time. Furthermore, by going with this option, we can target very specific file systems. For instance, it's not just common Windows file systems, such as NTFS, FAT, XFAT and the like, that are always affected by data loss. There also are other quite common file systems out there for Mac, as well as Linux distributions. As a loyal Windows user for now, I don't need to rely on any of the other systems yet. So I just click Next, which starts this scan. That will take a while depending on the type and size of the drive. So I'll just fast forward into the future for you. And the future certainly does look bright for me, because a total of 43 folders and 188 files have been found. Now should you for whatever reason mess up at this stage, or should your drive have any mechanical issues, you should try to preserve it somewhat, 
don't put excessive load onto it. Better safe than sorry and save the analysis results so you can check again later without having to go through the entire scan again. This step of course is not required, but I would recommend doing it. Next up we can go through all things found. Within partition 0, there's nothing useful in there. Things look very promising with the second partition though. If you add up all these found folders, we're getting to the number of 15. That's nice, and the files seem to be intact, and weren't torn into thousands of pieces and spread across the whole drive. The Hetman partition recovery software kindly offers us a preview panel on the right for specific files. Time to start with the recovery then. The selected files can be saved onto one's desired drive, also as a zip file, or they can also be uploaded via an FTP server. Once again, I'd like to emphasize the importance of not saving anything on the affected drive, so none of your found files get overwritten. As so often in life, hardly anything is truly free. So for bigger recovery procedures, as in my case here, a license is required, which I happen to have. I therefore enter all the information, and right after that, the recovery begins. All we have to do now is wait. Once that's all done, I'll quickly check and compare the number and condition of the recovered files. Obviously, all folders along with their contents were successfully transferred. Luckily, all files open and can be executed. Nothing seems to be damaged or corrupted. Therefore, a 100% satisfactory result, if you ask me. Nonetheless, to be perfectly honest with you, I still need you to know that the Hetman software package doesn't always get the job done perfectly, and in some cases, deleted recycle bins cannot be fully restored depending on this situation. This tool's biggest strengths, without a doubt, lie within deleted or even damaged partitions. Another thing I want you to know and follow is, please don't forget making backups. It hurts a lot when it's simply too late. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and please take care everyone.